Hello dear Cancer, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here. This is your Divine Spread, your love and general reading for the 1st to the 15th of November 2018. Let's take a card for the Karma Dharma position. Thank you for your patience. Today is the 2nd of November, so it's one day late. I'm really trying <laughs> to um, to get these readings out. It hasn't been easy. Busy, busy times. So you have the Empress. This is obviously a blessing. So this is Dharma for you. Let's take the rest of the spread and I will be taking a Black Moon Astrology card as well. So we've got the Mother of Earth here. We've got beautiful Empress. Now she is Libra or Taurus. Some people say Aries as well, so I'll throw that in. For me, it's mainly Taurus Libra. Why? Because she is she does have Venus here. Venus rules those two signs. Taurus is everything that we love and we value. And Libra is partnership people right it's the seventh house Taurus is the second house of our values our earned income so the Empress is abundance prosperity wealth she is a blessing and she could speak of motherhood as well so pregnancy let's see dear cancer well wow, okay so I want to take these two cards Okay, now we've got the Seven of Cups, which is at the foundation. This is Piscean energy. Here we've got the Nine of Cups. This is what is unknown to you. So let's cut the cards now for Cancer. Now Cancer is a very feminine energy. Cancer is the fourth house, which is ruled by the Moon. And it is the mother. Okay, so let's see what's in the recent past. Ten of Cups. In the now position at the present, you're at the Six of Wands. Crowning your reading is the Queen of Pentacles. So you've got a Mother of Earth here. Now this could be two mothers. This could be your mother. This could be your partner, your Cancer. Taurus Virgo Capricorn let's see what the advice and the action to take we've got the lovers what a spread the outcome dear cancer is the knight of wands you are quickly moving into balance harmony love prosperity financial stability you've got the nine and the ten of cups Okay, let's see what the divine position is showing. And we've got the Ten of Wands. So you're at the completion point. This is it. You've gotten to your goal. Yes, it hasn't been easy. But you know that the Ten does break down to the Ace of Wands. So if this is anything to do with creativity, if you've been very creative, you're quickly rushing to the finish line. You've won the race, Cancer. You've won the race. And you're charging, charging for the finish line. Let's take a Black Moon Astrology card for more clarity, more information. So we've got Gemini here as well with the lovers. That's the card of Gemini. It's a head over heart decision, obviously. It is a number six, so logically it's a number of balance. It is a karmic relationship that you are that you are told you are pushed from the universe because the advice is to make the decision and find the balance. Go for it. That's what it's it's telling me. And there is a lot of passion here, so you may be dealing with someone who has got strong fire in their chart. I did mention Aries, but I would like to say also Leo 
and Sag. Sagittarius is here for me. Sagittarius is the divine. It's a spiritual house. It's the ninth house as well as uh, foreigners. You may need to travel for whatever reason. You are hoping to make a decision. There is some sort of a burden. You've got two tens, but tens break down to ones. So you, it's as though you've got the Ace of Cups here and you've got the Ace of Wands here. So there is fire, passion, love and emotion all in the mix. Let's take a card for Cancer. And we've got the ninth house, Faith. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the house of faith. Spirituality, the divine, as I said, foreign places, people at a distance, higher education, truth. It's also the house of philosophy because of the higher education. You're at the point where you may have matured um, emotionally and through life, right? And you may have your moon or rising sign in Sagittarius or you may be dealing with someone who's got Sagittarius and any of other these signs that I've already mentioned. So we could, you could be dealing with someone who has We've got Pisces, opposite to Pisces is Virgo, so it could be either a Pisces or a Virgo, you know, Ascendant Virgo, Descendant Pisces or the other way around. Ninth house, beautiful. This is a number 33, it's a master number. Some of you may that, my computer just stopped recording for no reason technology. So I was saying that some of you may be pregnant. Congratulations if that's the case. If you are not pregnant physically then this is an idea, an inspiration, any sort of creative project that you've been working on and this is a heavy load that you've been working with but you get to your goal. <clears throat> now in the distant past you've had many choices, many choices and sometimes the seven Seven of Cups can say that you've got a lot of choices, but there's difficulty in making a choice. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got two sixes here. We've got the Lovers and the Six of Wands, which speaks of success through making a decision, a decision that's going to stabilize because the Queen of Pentacles is stability. She's a business owner. She's grounded, she's very good with her finances, she's a wonderful mother, she's very steadfast, she's not going anywhere. And I don't think that she is um, up in the air like because of success. I don't believe that because the Six of Wands can be a card of ego, right, through success. Sometimes success can go to our head and we think we're godly. But no, the Queen of Pentacles as an energy would mean finances are fantastic. There's money rolling in, there's stability. You're, you're receiving the harvest, you're collecting what you've invested on. You've got the success in your hand. So it's the recognition as well as the material. So this is you coming into balance. Now if this is a woman or a man, doesn't matter, could be male, female, that you are be trying to, um, I want to say, you want to be admired by this person, right? Because here this person receives applause, congratulations and admiration and she's looking straight at you. So if you've got strong fire in your sign, in your chart, Sagittarius more than likely I would say, then this is her watching you and she's very grounded. She'll keep your feet on the ground if, you've, if you're flying and you've got an, you know, such a big ego that, because success, success can do that to anyone. 
right? So we've got the six here, the lovers, which is a head over heart decision. So what is the decision that you're hoping to make? And we've got two mothers here, as I said. Could be the same person, someone who is very beautiful. They, their, uh, their aura wreaks love, wreaks beauty, stability, motherhood. This is the perfect female, the perfect partner that you see. They're not only beautiful, they're of value to you, they value you. You know, and there is promise of growth here. Now, sometimes the Empress can be, for me, she's three months pregnant. She needs to be patient. So to get to this position here of abundance and love, because Venus is anything that we value, right? Anything that we love to do, anything that is physical, tangible, as well as partnerships because Libra is all about finding the balance in partnership partnerships and Venus is in Libra as I'm doing your reading she's retrograding still so the decision that you're probably hoping to make is do you move do you run and end quickly get to the finish line is there going to be a quick completion here and when I say quick completion some of you may be wanting to get away just sneak away maybe if there's a lot of work too much on your plate right you may be sneaking away even though this is not the seven of swords I would not be surprised if that did not show up in Vimeo in the recent past you have the ten of cups which is some something happened you something went really really well dear cancer happy family some sort of a wish fulfillment success with the nine of cups which is in the hidden position to you this is your wish your wish is it's as though this is the genie that's saying your wish is my command all you need to do is make that wish <coughs> excuse me all you need to do is ask for what you desire. Ask for what will make you extremely happy on all fronts in your life. So you've got the nine and the ten and then you've got the six of wands. What can I say, dear Cancer? Need I say more? I mean, unbelievable. You know what? I would love to take one more card for you here on the divine position what is happening planetarily as well for you now the Empress is looking at the ten of cups some of you are falling pregnant you are starting your family if this is not a physical pregnancy as I said it's it's happiness on a physical tangible and balanced balanced relationship level okay ten of cups is something that is amazing as I said it breaks down to the one now there could have been some sort of a, a completion with a ten that's you know getting to the end of a cycle and then it starts you start again you start at the ace now because next is the six of wands this would be a success in career I would say you know, you've been acknowledged, your successes are shown to the world, you're, you're going public, people are recognizing your success, and this could be a promotion, obviously. I mean, the Empress can be your boss, let's say. If this is your energy, the Queen of Pentacles, let's say, if you've got strong earth in your chart, then, you know, as I said, this is stabilizing your career life and the money's coming with the uh, promotion of course let's look at this ten wow ten of wands and I've got two cards what are they okay as I said too much work we've got the devil and we've got the ace of swords so another ace let's say ace of swords is cutting away at anything that was restricting you to fame and fortune, I would say. 
Now, obviously, you've worked. You've worked so hard that you've had no other... Um, let's say you've been focusing only on work. You've been at it. You've been pushing through just like a Capricorn does. Okay, and there comes the success. This is a successful new beginning. So could this be a brand new project that you are beginning? Because it's as though we've got the Ace of Wands as well as the Ace of Swords. Now you could have a boss that's a slave driver saying, I want more, more, more. Sometimes because uh, the, um, the card of Capricorn, the devil, is overindulging, overdoing things, be careful with Jupiter at the last degrees of Scorpio, be careful not to overdo too much of anything. Too much of anything is no good, right? Now, the card of Capricorn, the devil, is a very sexual energy, a very physical. And with the wands, there is a lot of passion here, a lot of sexual passion. We've got the six of wands as well, a lot of fire. There's the fire as well. Some of you, I'm going to say Leo is quite prominent here. It's as though the sun is in this card. We've got a lot of yellow, a lot of yellow here as well. Leo can be quite, the shadow side of Leo can be ego. But Leo is someone who is true. They, you know, they love from their heart. So sometimes, as I said, anyone can let fame and fortune get to their head. And as I said, this Queen of Pentacles will keep you, keep your feet firmly planted on the ground, so don't worry about that. What else do we have? Some of you may be traveling for work, okay, because again, Sagittarius. Usually um, the card of Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands, is um, someone who doesn't stop. You know, they they go from A to B to C. They're on the go all the time. And that could be like, that could be something that you may be deciding on because the Empress is Earth. She's what you value, right? Cancer, you're all about the home. You want to build that safe haven of yours, right and be comfortable and loved and nurtured right and if you're always on the move I think that might be a little bit tiresome for you so that's why you're rushing what to retirement is that what you're rushing towards now here we've got the energy of Capricorn so could this be an authority uh, someone who is of authority to you um, we've got Pluto in Capricorn, Saturn in Capricorn. Capricorn is the house of career, right? And it's also your status. So your status may be changing here, and that could mean a lot of things. You could be going from single to partnered up to committed, whatever. Um, you can also be becoming the authoritarian, the boss, taking the lead position, Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Whatever this is, you need to keep the faith. You need to trust in the process, right? Trust that your hard work is going to pay off and trust that you can get to that finish line. I don't see anything bad in your reading, dear Cancer. This is a wonderful reading, absolutely wonderful. Now, we've got the Nine of Cups and the uh, Devil here, so don't overindulge too much in, you know, sex, drugs and rock and roll, I want to say, too much partying is not going to be good for you either. That will burden your body, your physical body. For those of you, and that might be 1% out there, that have been dealing, it's been a burden. You've been dealing with a Capricorn person, you may be cutting them out and moving away. And this could be a decision that you are making. Because maybe you've got choices here. We do have two women here.
All right. I think that I will leave it at that, dear Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. I will be extending this on Vimeo. Uh, I love this reading for you. It's glorious. It really is beautiful. You know what? I'd like to take one card on the Knight of Wands just as a bonus for you. And then I will take a lot more cards on, of course, on Vimeo. Now, I did get a sneak peek at the world card, which really wanted to open up, and that's the ending of a cycle. And because I got to, to see it, it didn't actually open up properly, but I'd like to say, yeah, this is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle for you. Okay, that's why I said you're rushing towards the, the finish line. And the world card, again, is Saturnian energy. You will receive if you've been putting in that hard work, if you've been standing in your integrity and doing the right thing. And some of you are hoping to travel internationally. Let's take that card on this here. And we've got the full, wow. I did say ending of a cycle, a beginning of a new cycle. This is the full, you're willing to take a risk. You're willing to take a risk. He is looking back up at the uh, lovers. You're taking a risk on love. It's worth taking the risk. Whatever gamble you're taking, that's Leo. Leo is the house of gamble, gambling. Maybe, yes, you've been, some of you may have been overindulging at the casino. And if that's the case, I see win, win situations here. Cancer, what kind of a reading is this? This is amazing. I'm over the moon for you. Congratulations. Wow. All right. Now, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I read all your comments. Thank you so much. I will catch up with you very soon. Bye for now.